Hi there guys, I'm Danny, and welcome to this episode of All Monsters Go To Space. I'm going to be covering the Baku, or the Baku Muna, in this video. They are very unique looking creatures from Japan, but they actually originally came from China. These dream and nightmare eaters were made by the gods from all the leftover pieces of other animals. In China, they were called Mo, which was also a name used for the giant panda. And then in 1824, for the Malayan tapir, the name Baku was also used for the Malayan tapir, as they are said to look very similar. The mythical Baku can be found being mentioned from as far back as the 14th century, in the Muromachi period. Sankai Ibutsu, the manuscript in the 7th century, describes the Baku. It says that it's a shy creature that could protect against evil and pestilence, but eating nightmares was not listed at this point. In this piece of writing, he was made of tiger's legs, the eyes of a rhino, an ox's tail, and an elephant's trunk, but it says nothing of its body. There was a woodblock illustration from 1791 that depicted the Baku with horns, an elephant's head and tusks, and the tiger's paws, and it was eating a dream. These characteristics soon became commonplace, and woodblocks of these could be found in temples and shrines, as well as small sculptures called Netsuke carvings. Ancient Chinese legends say that the Mo's were hunted for their pelts, because they could be used as a talisman. It would protect the wearer from evil spirits like an evil eye. This legend then evolved into just being able to use an image of the Baku above the bed, and it would work just as well. But it was only when Japan adopted the creature that it was then said to be a dream eater. Hori Tadeo once said that the creatures had dream-eating abilities, and from the Meiji period of Japan, there is writing that gives the legend of the Baku who would eat the nightmares of a person who called out to them. If a child were to wake up and say, Baku-san, come eat my dreams, three times, it would. But with this kindness, there is a darker side to it. If the Baku is left unsatisfied, it will also eat up all the desires and hopes of the person who called it, leaving them empty, so it should only be called upon once in a blue moon. Now this creature has actually been used in a few animes and mangas. The Pokemons Muna and Drowsy are based on the Baku. The Tapirman or Bakuman from Digimon was also based on it, and the anime How to Keep a Mummy, which I would recommend to anyone looking for a short and sweet anime to watch, has a Bakumuna character that appears in a handful of episodes. So that's it about this helpful little creature. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe, and click the bell. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in my next video, in the comment section and on Twitter. Bye!